sweet. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a new bottle here in my cask. It's an old Pultney Navigator. And there are several old Pultneys on the market. The most often sold I think is the 12 year old, but uh, the availability, well the success of this bottle uh, limited the availability of it and there were also older expressions on the market they are quite rare and uh, well in the last two or three years they started with an unaged series the first one was a called Isabella Fortuna it was called after uh, a ship uh, I think they went for herring and this Isabella Fortuna, I had it and I found it wonderful. And uh, then there was a series of lighthouses. Whiskey is called after lighthouses. And why do they seek this uh, proximity to the sea? Well, the Old Pultney distillery is the most northern distillery on the mainland of Scotland or of Great Britain. It's located in Wick, and Wick was formerly known for uh, the fishermen going out to sea with the harbor. And uh, today it's a harbor for the, well, for the supply ships, for the oil rigs in the North Sea. Um, and this navigator follows this proximity to the sea. And it has this label on top here showing that they are uh, team sponsor of the Clipper 2013-14 Around the World Yacht Race. Uh, I looked up, uh, I looked it up in, in Google and the race 2015-2016 uh, will start in a few days, less than a week, and they start in the heart of London and then they uh, sail down the River Thames and then go over uh, through the Atlantic Ocean and the South Atlantic Ocean to Rio de Janeiro uh, and then no they are going not around around Cape Horn but the other way uh, to Cape Town and then they head for Australia there, where they have several stops and then going up to China crossing the Pacific to uh, Seattle I think and then they're going down to the Panama Canal and uh, from there they're going back to London sometime in 2016. Uh, yeah, and that's it and here on the back they tell the history about the distillery in Wick and uh, it was founded in 1826. This is two years after uh, the law was uh, issued. Um, that you have to have a license for distilling. Uh, and then there are uh, tasting notes, uh, appearance, color, honeycomb. Well, uh, this one is uncolored and non-chill filtered, so it's natural from the cask and the color is true. So honeycomb, yes, it fits. Uh, aroma, sweet and crisp, layers of tangy apples and dried fruit, harmonized with subtle hints of dark chocolate and fresh vanilla custard. Oh, I like vanilla custard. Taste, full-bodied and rich in flavor. The palate delivers a burst of honey, cocoa and oranges, easing gently into a long-lasting spicy finish with a maritime surprise, surprise, surprise. The ice bomb. And there's a small leaflet telling you about Old Pultney Navigator. Uh, Old Pultney Navigator is handcrafted. Yes, as long as there's a mouse on the computer, the whiskey will be handmade, Ooh, I'm afraid. Using traditional methods of the 1800s. The unique shape of the copper pot stills, the time-honored condensation method, and the northern sea breeze absorbed by the cask during years of maturation all contribute to the distinctive style of the whiskey with the smoothness, complexity and the unmistakable coastal character. And they call themselves the Maritime Malt. What's here on the back? Yeah. 
Matured in fine oak casks, quietly breathing in the fresh sea air, Old Pulteney is the very essence of this unique place. Intricate, balanced and with a delicate mineral salted spiciness. Old Pulteney is a distinctive and evocative spirit, truly. Uh, and here you can see this is what they feel is their distillery character as a whole, overall. Uh, wonderful overall available bottles over the years. They're always doing this sound, this gulping. Oh, because of the, the shape, the pot still shape of the neck of the bottle. Oh, sweet. Fresh apples, and then a definite vanilla vanilla note. And I have the second sip now, or the second nose now. And in the first one there was very few caramel. Now in the second one is more, and there is the aroma of apples. And in the back there's some some oranges. crisp and fruity on the tongue. The oranges are there and then mm, slightly bitter chocolate, dark chocolate, spiciness and well there's this maritime note, the proximity to the sea. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Wonderful, full arom aromatic and they use uh, ex berm and ex sherry casks, and there's definitely a significant amount of sherry cask in it because of these fruity character. Well, there's this fresh fruity character of the distillery, of the stills where the apple and the oranges come from, and there's this darker, a little bit darker fruity character of the sherry. And, well, some honey, but it's covered by a sweetness. So it's, no, the sweet honey is covered by the dark chocolate, this bitterness. So there is, is there a chocolate with honey? I don't know. So it's honey chocolate in the aftertaste. There, yeah, apple and dried fruit. Spiciness, dark chocolate. Well, and there is a, uh, a bonus um, with the first uh, or with a clipper race around the world. Uh, there was a the first uh, case with the old Pultney bottles in one of those yachts, and probably very deep <laughs> in the bilge and. Uh, when the race came to an end, <laughs> the yacht was probably a little bit lighter. No, this is just a joke. So there was a, uh, uh, a case in it. And did I say case or a cask? I mean case, case of bottles. And uh, I don't know what they have done with it. Um, typically, there is some, some, some auction, uh, this year's race, 2015-2016. Uh, has some UNICEF uh, activities going on, so probably from the older races, uh, this whiskey was auctioned somewhere for a good, for a good effort. Yeah, thank you for watching. There's more to come. Feel free to share this video with your friends, and if you have comments and want to discuss about this bottle, please do so in our vlog whiskey.com. Thank you.